Good evening. Several pharmacies in our area have been victimized by a handful of recent robberies. This trend began late last year and has only picked up in 2012. And each time, the suspects were looking for the drugs Opana and Fentanyl. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth looked into what the drugs are, why they're being targeted in particular. Well, Mark and Heather, these two drugs are painkillers, uh, similar to morphine. In the past five weeks, nearly a dozen robberies or attempted robberies have taken place in Allen County. The most recent one happened just Saturday night. Police are still trying to find out who is responsible for the recent pharmacy robberies throughout Fort Wayne. Pharmacy surveillance video has not helped the community identify the suspects who each time were looking for Opana and fentanyl. Opana come in in capsules um, or tablets actually. Fentanyl actually comes in a, in a patch. Sarah Failer is the clinical pharmacy coordinator at Parkview Hospital. She says a wide variety of doctors can prescribe the two medications. Patients that have chronic pain, um, specifically back pain patients, would get them your cancer patients as well. They're addictive when they're used incorrectly. Um, when used appropriately, your body can become accustomed to them, which is different than addiction. Failer says the drugs can be taken in ways that allow users to feel the effects quickly. Those effects are what people can become addicted to. Generally, when people are robbing pharmacies for these types of medications, they're getting it for the high. It's not for a pain relief situation where they truly need it for pain. They'll get them through their physicians for that. Physicians are very attuned to patients' pain control. Using it for addictive behavior, that's where you'll see patients robbing pharmacies for them. Sarah Failer said patients who use these drugs to control pain do not become addicted to them. However, their bodies build a tolerance to the medication and may need more over time. Mark and Heather, she also added that for the people who actually do need these drugs, it would be highly unlikely that the pharmacies will run out of this medication just due to these robberies. Okay. Thank you, Randy.